Hi, I'm making book reviews to keep up with my reading and to try to remember what I've actually read. So here goes. Today I'm going to talk about a novel by Ludwig Holbein. This novel has many names in English and I'm going to try to call it by the name Niels Klim's Travels to the Underworld. Or Niels Klim's Underworld Travels. So why am I uh, reviewing this book? Well, I've read two earlier uh, plays by Ludwig Holberg, which I enjoyed very much. Jeppe on the Hill and Erasmus Montanus. These were very funny, both of them, and uh, very brief, so easily read and funny. And I thought that uh, this book might be funny as well. The book was published in 1741 in Germany and written in Latin. This was kind of strange because he was a Norwegian and Dane, but due to the radical content of the book, Ludwig Holberg knew that this was going to make a stir. The book contains topics as equality, immigration and religion. Safe to say that some of these subjects were quite delicate to handle at that time. And they of course many places in the world are today. So I'm going to give you a brief summary of the book. Niels has just graduated in natural sciences in Copenhagen and is bound for Bergen, his birthplace. In Bergen he is going to work and in the beginning of career in Bergen he is set out to explore a cave in central Bergen. In this cave he suddenly falls down to the underworld and he now starts his journey in the world Nazar. In this world there are many creatures which take many forms but they all seem to think like we humans might think. Even if they think like us, they have many different ideas than we had at the time that uh, Holberg lived. And this reflects uh, throughout the novel. A large part of the book is Niels traveling around the, the world underground and reflecting on the thoughts of the creatures. Many times the creatures thinking is very different from what the thinking is in the world at that time. And this is some of the things that get him into trouble. And it's also the basis for the reflections the author does throughout the book. Reading this book in this century, it's quite easy to reflect on the different creatures and the societies they live in and draw parallels to many of the societies we see around the world today. What did I think of the book? Well, it's easily read. That's a positive for me, starting out reading again. The book has many good points and it's easy to see where the author might share his uh, view of things in the book. I often feel it's a bit exaggerated. Uh, and of course with the creatures, they have very strong opinions, many of them. But it sometimes could be, let's say, too obvious. All this makes it very understandable why he chose to publish it in Germany in the first time. Many of the topics are still very relevant and we discuss it today. This is Holberg's only novel and I was a bit disappointed because I didn't find the book funny, which I hoped it would be. But it's very educational and I sort of wish I had my educational hat on when I read it because I might have been taking it a bit slower to really digest the thoughts of the author. So it's my own fault that I didn't check properly before I chose to start reading the book. I'd just like to mention that this book is free now that it's not copyrighted and it could be downloaded on the Gutenberg project either as a PDF or you could download it to your ebook reader. Thank you for watching this video. This was my first book review. I'm hoping to make uh, more of them. But if you have input for this kind of format, I'd like to hear it. See you next time.